Hello my dear students, how are you all? In my today's class, I welcome all of you. I am Tarn Akhtar, ST teacher, Pallobi Majidul Islam Model High School. Dear students, you see there is a picture here. What can you see in the picture? The picture is about renewable energy sources. Today our topic is renewable energy from Unit 11 and uh, today uh, I will discuss about Lesson 3. The title of this lesson is Renewable Energy Source Sources. At first I will tell you what is renewable sources. A renewable source is one that can be used repeatedly and does not run out because it is naturally replaced. Renewable sources include biomass energy, hydropower, geothermal power and wind energy. You see there are uh, 10 examples of renewable resources here. First on solar energy, then biomass, hydrogen, wind energy biofuels, geothermal energy, hydro, power, tidal energy, and ocean thermal energy. You see another definition of renewable energy. Renewable energy is generally defined as energy that comes from resources which are naturally replenished on a human time scale such as sunlight, wind, rain, tides, waves, and geothermal heat. Renewable energy replaces conventional fuels in four distinct areas electricity generation, hot motor fuels, and rural energy services. Geothermal energy is a renewable energy that makes use of the heat inside the earth. Now you see what is non renewable sources. Non renewable resources are material or energy source that cannot be replaced during the time of a human lifespan. For example, you see, common renewable sources are nuclear, rocks as resources, fossil fuels, coal, petroleum, and natural gas. You see, in the picture, non-renewable energy sources are shown. Now let us introduce with some new words from today's topic. Fossil fuel. A natural fuel such as coal or gas formed in the geological past from the remains of living organisms. Run out. Run out means be used up, dry up, be finished, give out. Global warming. Global warming means a gradual increase in the world temperature of the Earth's atmosphere. Replenish means refill, fill up, recharge, or reload. Capture means catch, apprehend, or siege. Wind turbine means a turbine having a large wind wheel related by the wind to generate electricity. Evaporate means turn from liquid into vapor. Biomass means plant materials and animal waste used especially as a source of fuel. Now read the Passes silently in Unit 11, Lesson 3b. <laughs> Sorry. Countries of the world rely heavily on petroleum, coal, and natural gas for their energy resources. There are two major types of energy sources, renewable and non-renewable. So, you can see there are two major types of energy sources. One is renewable and another is non-renewable. Hydrocarbon or fossil fuels are non-renewable sources of energy. Reliance on them poses real big problems. 
first fossil fuels such as oil coal gas etc are finite energy resources and the world eventually will run out of them secondly they will become too expensive in the coming decades and too damaging for the environment thirdly fossil fuels have direct polluting impacts on earth's environment causing global warming in contrast renewable energy sources such as wind solar energy are constantly and naturally replenished and never run out most renewable energy comes either directly or indirectly from the sun sunlight or solar energy can be used for heating and lighting homes for generating electricity and for other commercial and industrial uses the sun see drives the wind and this wind energy can be captured with wind turbines to produce electricity then the wind and the sun see cause water to evaporate when the water vapor turns into rain or snow and flows downhill into rivers or streams its energy can be captured as hydroelectric energy along with the rain and snow sunlight causes plants to grow plants produce biomass which again can be turned into fuel such as fire wood alcohol etc identify pied as bioenergy Scientists have identified hydrogen as another form of renewable energy source. It is the most abundant element in nature, but it does not exist separately as a gas. It is always combined with other elements such as with oxygen to make water. Hydrogen separated from another element can be burned as a fuel to produce electricity. Our earth's interior contains molten lava which gives off extreme heat. The heat inside the earth produces steam and hot water which can be tapped as geothermal energy to produce electricity for heating homes etc. Ocean energy comes from several sources. Ocean's force of tide and wave can be used to produce energy. The surface of the ocean gets more heat from the sun than the ocean depths. This temperature difference can be used as energy source too. so this is all about today's passage from this passage you have learned about renewable and non renewable resources of us and i hope you have known which energy is good for us now let us do some exercise from today's topic at first choose the best answer first one which of the following base describes the similarity between renewable and non renewable energy sources option a they are costly they are finite energy resources they have direct polluting impacts on our environment and d they are available you see what will be the right answer okay i will show you later uh, uh question number 2 most renewable energy comes either directly or indirectly from the sun what does the statement mean option a we should go to the jungle for collecting renewable energy from the sun option b the world centers around the sun option c the sun helps us indirectly to get renewable energy and option d the sun is the source of renewable energy Question number three: What could be the closest meaning for tremendous? It means what does the word tremendous mean? Option A: medium. B: extreme. C: normal. D: minimum. Question number four: Which of the which of the can be burnt as fuel to produce electricity? Option A: hydrogen. B oxygen, C nitrogen, D carbon dioxide. I I think it will be which of the energy can be burnt as fuel to produce electricity. 
you see the option option a hydrogen b oxygen c nitrogen and d carbon dioxide i hope you have tried now you see the answer of these multiple choices first one is uh, first one will be sorry it will be d they are available then two will be d the sun is a source of renewable energy three will be b and four will be hydrogen the pointer is not placed correctly i am sorry for that but i am telling you the answer the first one will be uh, d uh, two will be d three will be b and four will be a question number five geothermal energy can be used for option a heating the surrounding b heating home c running the cars d doing work in the industries question number six what is the main theme of the passage option a we need both renewable and non-renewable energy d reliance on non-renewable energy sources c renewable energy is the alternative to non-renewable energy d about various energy sources question number seven the phrase run out means a begin b end c comments d start in question number six there is a spelling mistake you see uh, in b number it will be renewable r e non renew renew renewable r e n e w a b l e and again in question um, uh, option number c the spelling will be r e n e w a b l b l e now you see the answer of these questions question number 5 answer question number 5 is b heating home answer of question number 6 will be d about various energy sources and answer of question number 7 will be b int here is also pointer is not placed properly i'm sorry again sorry for that now i will uh, give you some questions and i will show you how you will answer these questions you see the first question what do you mean by renewable energy and second question is what are the problems with run non-renewable energy sources and question number c what are the major differences between renewable and non-renewable energy answer number a will be like this renewable energy sources mean sources that never run out answer number b will be like this the problems with non-renewable sources are that they are harmful for the environment and they will run out one day Question number C, what are the major differences between renewable and non-renewable energy? The answer will be like this. The major differences between the two are that renewable energy sources are helpful for the environment and they, they never run out. While non-renewable energy sources are harmful and they will run out one day. Question number D, how many ways can solar energy uh, be used? And question number E, why do you think that reliance on non-renewable sources of energy will cause great problems? Now you see how you will answer question number D. Answer will be like this. Solar energy can be used in many ways. It can be used for heating and lighting homes, for generating electricity and for other commercial and industrial uses. And answer number E will be like this i think that reliance on non-renewable sources will cause great harm because fossil fuels such as oil coal gas etc are finite energy resources 
and the world will run out of them. Moreover, they will become too expensive in the coming decades and too damaging for the environment to repair. Besides, fossil fuels have direct polluting impacts on Earth's environment, causing global warming. So these all are probable answers you will follow. Uh, these answers when you will answer the questions from this passage. Now take your homework from this chapter. Your homework is to write the summary of the passage. So dear students, thanks a lot for being with me. This is all about my today's